Excuse me. You don't mind if I grab that, do you? Thank you. Oh, gross. Is that beer? Ugh, I hate beer. Beer is literally the most disgusting drink humans have ever created. I'm not drinking this. I'm just going to put that back. Ugh. I assume one of the orcs will enjoy that. Ugh. Anyway, um, thank you. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> Yeah? You don't really like beer either? <sighs> well, you're probably one of the only people here who has taste, my darling. I'll admit that. <laughs> <sighs> I wish they served real drinks here. Kind of more of a wine fan myself. <laughs> you're calling me a snob? Hey, you don't like beer too, you just told me. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Oh, okay. That's a, um, that's a human name, right? Are you a human? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, of course, I, I don't mean to be intrusive. You are human. Interesting. <laughs> you don't really see many humans at a place like this. Um, good on you, I guess, for, uh, you know broadening your horizons and hanging around with different types of people. It just kind of seems like humans are terrified of magical beings like us, you know? I mean, this place, there's werewolves, there's orcs, there's elves, and of course, there's demons. It just seems like an unusual place for a human to be. I certainly don't have a problem with it. That's not what I was saying. If anything, I'm impressed, actually. <laughs> How did you get an invite, though, to a Magical Beasts party? Your friend? Oh, you mean the, the elf? Yeah, that one over there. <laughs> She's really pretty. Are you, um, are you like, are you together? I mean, you know, like, are you... are you an item? Okay, I, I didn't mean to strike a nerve, it's just... She's really, really, really pretty, and, uh... Yeah, it's, um... Good on you, I guess, for, uh, being cool with us all. <laughs> I mean, uh, look, it, it's... it's... what is it, 2024 now? <laughs> Magical beasts and humans have coexisted since the beginning of time, okay? We... <laughs> we don't eat or hunt humans anymore. So, yeah, it's... it's cool. I'm, um... Yeah, good for you, I guess. Well, I have made this conversation exceptionally uncomfortable. I am gonna take my leave now. <laughs> Best of luck finding a drink around here, because I sure haven't had any luck in that regard. And, uh... Take care, human. Oh, and uh, by the way, you're um, playing Seven Minutes in Heaven, right? You put your name in the bowl? Ugh, I would literally never play that, like, if my life depended on it. <laughs> uh, but if you do get picked, um, try not to go into the closet with that guy there. That's Jake. He's a werewolf, and... He's kind of handsy when he's had a drink, so, uh, yeah. Good luck, human. I'll probably see you around. What am I? Oh, I'm, um, a demon. Can you tell by the red eyes? Well, I identify as a demon, but technically I'm half demon, half dragon. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the mix. <sighs> well, uh, as I said, take care. I'll, um, probably go outside for a smoke and then finally leave this dreaded party. Am I not having fun? No, I'm having fun. It's just, uh, parties, you know? It's hard work. Uh, anyway... Uh, good luck with seven minutes in heaven and all that crap. 
I'll see you around, human. Oh, looks like you've been picked. <laughs> Have fun. W what? I've been picked as well? But I didn't put my name in the f What? I am not getting in there. No, no, I, I, I don't- it, it's, it's not like anything against you, human. It's, it's just- Oh, fuck. Fine, I, I'm not gonna make a scene, and I don't wanna embarrass you. I'm not doing anything when we go in there, though, if that's okay. How on earth did this happen? I didn't put my name in the bowl. I bet that was Jake. Oh, he's such a dick. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, God. How annoying. This is really dark. <laughs> can you, um, can you see me, human? You can just about make out my figure. Yeah, um, well, here, let me try. Uh, <sighs> I'm a demon, after all, so I can use magic. That little orb of light will give us some light whilst we're in here. Do you think it's nice? Yeah, it's a miniature flame, so it casts like a, uh, like the glow of a candle. It's, uh, it's pretty, don't you think? My mom taught me that spell when I was younger. <laughs> it was to help me with my fear of the dark. I'm not scared of the dark now. <laughs> but, uh, I was when I was a kid. And growing up in hell, it was, um, it was very dark. So, yeah. <laughs> this little orb of light means a lot to me, actually. So crap little spell. You could probably cast it if you wanted, human. It's really not that not that intricate, but it means a lot to me. Uh, no, no, I, I, um, I didn't intend on doing anything. I just, I didn't want to embarrass you. I didn't want to cause a scene or anything, so I, I came in here anyway. And, and no, you're not making me uncomfortable. It's just, it looks like one of my friends put my name in the bowl as a joke because I certainly would never have done this. And yeah, if you want, when the seven minutes is up, we can leave and you can get get somebody else who will um, <clears throat> partake in the game, if you like. And, and just so you know, it's got nothing to do with your attractiveness because you are very, very attractive. It's just, I, um, before... Um, doing what you would normally do in this situation I kind of like to have a meaningful connection with a person I, I, I don't really discriminate on gender or y y frankly race really you know werewolves, orcs I've dated them all I've actually never dated a human come to think of it but I um, I don't like doing stuff with people that I don't have a connection with if that's okay You think I'm adorable? <laughs> you are probably the only person on the planet. In fact, you are the only person in any realm that has said that to me. <laughs> we, as demons, aren't necessarily considered adorable. We're feared, even amongst the other magical creatures. We are not best liked, unfortunately. You think I seem really sweet? You're surprised to hear that. <laughs> my entire life, I've been ostracized. Not just that, my entire life I've been feared as well. You see, it's very rare for a demon and a dragon to conceive, to have a child. But when they do, the resulting offspring is very powerful. Technically, I have enough power to rule hell one day. The current demon king, he's half dragon and half demon, just like me. So, yeah, even amongst other demons, people are scared of me. So, it's, um, it's difficult. 
Pretty sure the only reason I was invited to this party was because of what I am, not because of who I am. I don't really have any friends. <laughs> I know that's super lame to admit, especially when you're in a closet with a stranger. But I, um, I don't really have any friends. <laughs> You'd like to be my friend? If you knew what I was capable of, you wouldn't want to be my friend, darling. You're a human, so you know very little about the world of magical creatures. And that's not your fault, that's a good thing, you know? Our side and your side have always been separate. But on my side, I'm not the sort of person you want to hang around with. <laughs> You're really sweet. You know that? Um, if you don't mind me asking, where are you from? Really? Oh, cool. <laughs> I've really enjoyed talking to you, by the way. I wish we could be friends. I, I wish we, we could do more, you know? But a lot of humans would consider demons the greatest threat to your kind. So, a demon dragon, I don't think we'd work. I'm not the sort of person you want to bring home to the folks, am I? You couldn't care less. <laughs> You're kind of wayward, aren't you? You're a bit of a free spirit. I like that about you. I like how you don't care. <laughs> it's interesting. I care too much. And you care too little. It's almost like our meeting was fate. I'm sorry again for disappointing your seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> I mean, it, if you think about it, it's kind of like seven minutes in hell, isn't it? <laughs> You're with a demon and it's really lame. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really bad. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you're not too mad at me. No, you're right. I suppose it wasn't my fault. It was one of my friends being a dick. <sighs> but it is what it is. <laughs> is there anything you want to do? Besides the obvious thing you'd normally do in this situation, like, is there anything you want to talk to me about? Do you, do you want to ask me any questions? Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's, it's my dad. My dad was a dragon, and my mom was a demon. Uh, dragons aren't what you think they are. Thanks to your media, you believe dragons to be these um, big, four-legged monsters that breathe fire, and they can be. They can transform into that, but they also can transform into a human form. And it's the same with demons as well. And that's how my mom and dad met. They met in their human form and had me. But my dad had dragon's blood and my mom was a demon. So, yeah, that's that, that to answer your question. Yeah, my dad, it's my dad's side that's dragon. And it's my mom's side that's demon. I seem really nervous. I, I don't mean to be. I, I just... <laughs> It's just unusual, you know. This whole situation is wildly out of my comfort zone. I'm not normally like this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. I'm normally much more professional. <laughs> and, uh, no, I don't go on many dates. Like I said, if somebody wants to date me nine times out of ten, especially if it's a magical creature or a demon, it's because of my power. It's because of what I am. Not because of who I am. So, uh, dating is kind of difficult. And naturally, I don't come across many humans, considering you're kind of terrified of us. Except you. You seem to be the exception. So, no, I, I don't date. Uh, 
would I like to? Um, yeah, I would do. I'd love to establish a meaningful connection one day. It's like I said, I can't really do what we were meant to do in here unless I have a connection like that. And there has been a few times when I've been with somebody and I thought I felt that connection. My ex-boyfriend was somebody I thought I had that connection with, but I didn't. And then a while before that, I had a girlfriend who I really thought I had a connection with like that, but it just dwindled, unfortunately. It's... It's difficult being me. I'm... I'm kind of born to be in a difficult situation. Would I like to rule hell one day? <laughs> I think my mum would probably be very disappointed if I did that. Even though I'm half demon and half dragon and I'm a very, very rare and powerful breed. Powerful enough to rule hell. I just don't think it's in my nature. And my mom always said that. She was a wonderful woman. She always said that my nature completely and utterly goes against my breed. Because a demon dragon should be horrendously fierce, unbelievably powerful, dominant, dangerous, deadly. And I'm none of those things. I don't even eat meat. <laughs> I wouldn't hurt a fly. And I don't think I have the capability to rule hell. You know, <laughs> it's kind of sad, but if I could do anything, I'd love to be a veterinarian. I'd love to help animals. God, I, I am such a terrible demon. <laughs> I am the last person you would ever think to be a demon. Technically speaking, I am the most powerful and the most dangerous person at this party. And in this party, we have high elves, we have orc lords, we have werewolves, for God's sake. And I'm the most powerful of them all. And look at me. <laughs> I want to help animals. And I don't eat meat. And I don't like beer. <laughs> and I don't want to be a demon. You feel really sorry for me. Well, don't. I've lived like this for 26 years. This is who I am, okay? It's who I've always been. It's who I will always be. So... I've learned to live with it. It's just taxing, I guess, is the word. Come on, guys. You I really, I don't think I'm ready to leave yet. I've really Come enjoyed on. our conversation. Yeah, now. Jake, we'll be out in a minute. You think we should stay in here for a little while longer? <laughs> I'd love to, but Jake's knocking on the door. <laughs> Been a minute, come on, it's somebody else's turn. You want me to make uh, him stop? I wanna go. You know I could do, don't you? You dare me to make him stop. <laughs> oh, you are so bad. Fine, I'll make him stop. Please, open the door. I said we will be out uh, in a minute. No. Turn around and leave. Okay. Goodbye. Sorry to interrupt you. Good boy. I am so sorry. You look so shocked. Oh my god, did that scare you? It's literally, it's just hypnotism, okay? It, it, uh, I know it sounded terrifying, but it was... Oh god, have I blown this now? Do you, do you want to leave? You thought it was really cool? Oh, uh, that's good. I thought you were terrified for a second then. No, because I'm a demon, I can use really high-level magic. Uh, that's what that was. <laughs> it was, um, hypnotism magic. It's quite easy to tell Jake what to do anyway, because he's just a silly dog. Um, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he's still, he's a reasonably all right friend, okay? <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be fine. He won't remember anything. He'll literally, he'll walk away from here and everything will be fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've known him most of my life. He's, um... He's a pain in the ass, but he's cool. To be honest, he's the reason why I'm here. He was the one that invited me. The problem with werewolves is that... They're great people, and they are unbelievably loyal, but they have such an innate lust for power and strength. And Jake thinks that he'll get that power and strength by hanging around with me and I've told him numerous times that I won't help him fight if that's what he wants his clan keeps having wars with other rival clans werewolves they hang around in packs and they're a pack animal but they hate other werewolves it's so bizarre and I think he likes the idea of having a demon dragon on his side I don't know I might just be being paranoid but he has asked me to fight a few times and I've said no have I ever been in a fight <laughs> no not once I um, I really don't like violence um, I assume that comes as no surprise to you after learning about me and how much of a weakling I am for a powerful demon but I hate violence I'd much rather sort my problems out using diplomacy <laughs> opposed to violence even though I absolutely could you think that makes me strong you think I'm pretty far from weak. You're really, really sweet. You know that. <laughs> I've met countless people throughout the course of my life. Demons, werewolves, vampires, elves, orcs. And it's always been plain old humans that have made me the most surprised. Their ability to be understanding passionate, loving, sweet, is just unlike anything else I've ever seen. A human's love, to me, is the truest magic in all of the realms. There is nothing more pure. I really respect you, human. I respect who you are, what you stand for, and I have really enjoyed our time together. I, I would really like to see you again, if you'd be interested in that. I know I'm a demon, and I know I am probably the last person you'd want to hang around with, and I'm dangerous. And I'm scary. But I really want to see you again. I promise you, if we do hang out at some point, you will be safe. In fact, you'll probably be the safest human being on the planet. You'd love to. <laughs> and, and it's not because I'm a demon dragon, right? It's because I'm adorable. And you want to talk to me more about being a vet. <laughs> really? Do, do you like that? Are, are you an animal lover as well? Yeah. I've always loved animals. I... It's kind of embarrassing to say, but I really can't watch those shows with David Attenborough. You know, where the animals die a lot in them it just it makes me cry so much <laughs> I, I am so much more comfortable watching cute animal compilations on youtube i am such a, a, i have such a soft spot for animals it's unreal 
I remember when I came out to my dad that I was turning vegetarian in my late teens. Whew, that was quite the uh, quite the conversation. <laughs> but even my dad's scared of me. He knows I'm more powerful than him. So even he, being my biological father, is somewhat untruthful when he speaks to me. Somewhat sycophantic in a way. That's right, the only person who's ever really seen me for me is my mum, up until now, weirdly. It's, uh, it's strange talking to somebody who wants to get to know me for me. It's strange telling people about my aspirations. It's strange just being genuine in front of somebody. You know, I think my mother would actually really like you. I hope she gets the opportunity to meet you someday. Not that I'm trying to bring you home to my parents or nothing. <laughs> oh gosh, that uh, sounded a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, no, what, what I'm trying to say is what, what we have at the moment, what I have in you is very rare for me to come across. So I really do think I'd like to pursue it. Yeah, I would like to pursue you. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. And I assume you're unlike anyone I ever will meet. Yeah, that is very true. It's unbelievably true, actually. Oh God, you're beautiful. I hope people have told you that, human. I hope people have told you how pretty you are. Am I using hypnosis on you? <laughs> no. You'd know about it if I was using hypnosis. You have the worst headache in the world afterwards. I should probably apologise to Jake about that later. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> you just kissed me. <laughs> no, it was more than just welcome. It was really welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I really want to do that more with you. Should we, should we ditch this party and go do something? Maybe go on a little date? <laughs> I mean, it's not too late. We could surely go and get some ice cream or something. Yeah, <laughs> a demon dragon asking a human to go and get ice cream. What an unusual thing. <laughs> but tell me it's not beautiful. I'm really glad we met. Well, in the end, I guess it really was seven minutes in heaven. And here I was, assuming it was going to be seven minutes in hell. <laughs>